Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of Feed the Beast Tutorials. I want to apologise for not uploading a video sooner, but I didn't really anticipate how popular the series would be getting and I just thought I'd be able to do a couple of videos and then it'd be done, but then I realised how popular it was getting, so I thought I'd better do a few more videos. So hopefully I should be able to crank out some more of these videos sooner in the future. So what you guys are going to want to do for this um, mob grinder or it's just called the grinder from Mine Factory Reloaded is place this guy down in the world and as you can see he looks a little bit like this once you place him down this is the grinding side this is where he outputs items so what I'm actually going to do is hook this guy up to some sort of power I'm using a creative capacitor bank from Ender.io and what I'm going to do is hook him up with, with this energy conduit and as you can see he's now getting some energy and if you put mobs in front of him hopefully he should begin to kill them but the, the items are just going to get spat out everywhere and that's really not ideal so what you can do is connect up some item conduits from Ender.io and set them to extract from here and now hopefully we should be seeing the items go into the chest once the mob grinder decides to kill the pigs so he's killed a pig now and that one didn't drop any pork for some reason and I believe he's gotten a little bit back stuffed now the way you can sort of prevent this basically oh, oh that's on insert mode that is I believe that is why he was getting a little bit back stuffed so hopefully now the pork should be getting put into the chest yeah there we go so that's something to note guys if you don't really take the items out properly like I did there what will happen is is the is its internal inventory of items it you can't actually see them but basically once that gets an item in it you will not be able to it'll just basically freeze because it's been back stuffed so you want to make sure you, you always have a way to extract the items now mob essence is also going to start building up so what you're going to want to do is connect some kind of fluid conduit and I recommend storing it into a tank unless you want to use the mob essence for something later now, I believe this um, spawner works in a 5x5 five five radius. I'm not 100% sure, but I will leave a link in the description to the wiki page in case you guys want to go and look at statistics. For example, like I was saying, how big a radius this guy has, and a few, you know, a few other things if you want to go and have a look. So I'll leave that link in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you've learnt something and hope you now know how to use the mob grinder. So, goodbye from Potent Plum.